This book, For Love of Country, is a wonderful contribution to bridging the military divide, civil military divide in this country. It tells some incredibly compelling stories of veterans who've served heroically on battlefields abroad and then come home to continue their service uh, in support of their fellow Americans here at home. Why write a book and why do it now? What's the urgency that caused you to do this? I, I need to tell the, the story of how this all happened. Uh, about three years ago, uh, I was invited to give a talk on leadership at West Point. Uh, I had never been to West Point. I took members of my family with me, and I, I was not anticipating what would happen that day. And what happened to me that day was it was my first exposure to being either on a military base or an academy. And uh, these young, extraordinary people touched me in ways that I was not prepared for. And I felt like I was in school all day learning from them. And so when it came time for me to speak in the afternoon about leadership, I just did not think it was appropriate because they had taught me so many lessons that afternoon. And that started me on this emotional journey that I did not anticipate. Phil has been another remarkable force in all of this. He was the one person that we at the Post turned to to help look at uh, the raw data on the poll that helped Howard galvanize Howard and I, and particularly a, a factoid in that, uh, or more than a factoid, a, a stunning um, uh, result from a question, which was when we asked members of this generation of veterans uh, whether they feel disconnected from civilian life in America, 55% said that they did. And, and both Howard and I, uh, that was an eye-popping number, and one that we, we, we found unacceptably high and uh, was really a clarion call to say, we need to do more, we need to, to, to bridge this gap. Uh, there were a lot of things that were hard about the job. Probably the hardest was when I had to write a condolence letter to the family of some kid I had given his diploma at Texas A&M, had watched him be commissioned. I then signed his deployment order to Iraq or Afghanistan, and then I had to write his family. So I think what's important about the book, about the concert, is a reminder to the American people that they must not forget that, that we have an enduring obligation to those who serve, not just to provide medical and financial assistance and so on, but to remember what they did and to remember what they sacrificed. When you see numbers that just dwarf everything else, and when I left, to kind of put it in perspective, 67% of our most seriously wounded with a single VA disqualifying injury at 30% or greater had post-traumatic stress or traumatic brain injury, as opposed to 10% who lost an arm, a leg, or, or multiple limbs. Um, and and that, that, that's a shocking figure. Um, so I spent four years learning everything I could realized that uh, even a, a liberal arts major who avoided biology and uh, all things science, um, because the field is, is so in, in the yesterday. I mean, you know, if you have one of these problems, it's kind of like going back and having a heart attack in 1930. Uh, I mean, that's where you are when it comes to medicine. We, we just don't know enough. Um, I felt it necessary as vice to find out everything I could and when I came out, I, I wanted to find a way to, to, to help uh, these folks. You know, oftentimes, you know, I, I think even the case of, 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 you know, at that time, my fiance, now my wife, and my mom, and my sisters, um, when we first came back home, and, and there was this apprehension as to what to say. What questions can I ask? What questions can I ask? Um, what can I ask about? What can't I ask about? And oftentimes, then, the default answer became, so let's just say nothing. Um, because they thought that was easier. Because they were afraid, and again, it was, it was out of love, but because they were afraid they didn't want to trigger anything. Um, and I think what ends up happening is, is that when that becomes the default reaction, whether it be amongst ones close to you or ones who are not even that close to you, then oftentimes the interpretation that I and that we receive is that you don't care. You're not interested.